Hello, folks. Uh, my name is Dar Hoopsh. I'm with Cape Fear Solar Systems, which is located in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina. And I thought I would take a few minutes to share with you some of my favorite features in Aurora that I use in my role as a technical sales consultant, helping homeowners to determine if solar and storage is going to be the right fit for their home. First one that I wanted to highlight is the sun path animation. You know, for a lot of folks who might be looking at their roof and saying, wow, this gets a lot of sun, I'm going to be a great candidate for solar. We want to always want to make sure that our designs are you know, acting in their best interest and that we're helping them to understand uh, shading concerns and annual production concerns. And I find that instead of relying completely on terms like TSRF or irradiance, which can really seem like a lot of jargon, it's often very helpful to pull up this animation. Um, I usually like to start by playing it for the day that we're meeting. So in this case, that would be July 30th. And letting people understand that when they go out into their backyard, you know, this is what they're seeing right now. But that again, we're, we're trying to come up with a solution that's going to be a good fit for them throughout the whole year. And sometimes it's helpful to also you know, bring the sun down to where it's going to be in the winter and help them better understand the impact of shading or orientation on their annual design so that we can make sure that we're setting expectations uh, realistically for how the system's going to perform and set them up for success with solar in that way. The other feature that I wanted to highlight is the uh, storage and self-consumption features. You know, one of the opportunities that we've had here over the past year has been to have a very high battery attachment rate for our systems uh, because of the incentive program that our utility company is currently offering. And one of the challenges that has come with that opportunity is having to uh, really help people who might not have been thinking about batteries or energy storage to understand the value proposition there. And again, also to set expectations for them about how their system's going to work, you know, even in a multiple day outage. So um, if I can just get into this tab here. What I find most helpful is when you go into the storage setup, you set the operating mode to self-consumption, and then you go into daily usage. You know, I think some of the most common questions that we get are, how long is the battery going to last? And it's very helpful to be able to pull up a specific month in our market. Folks are typically worried about you know, storm season being August or September, and that is often when their usage is at its highest. So we can go to those one of those months and then we can use this to help them to understand, you know, both how uh, solar is going to produce most of its gen energy during the day and what that looks like in terms of its ability to charge the battery or to export to the grid. I find these colors very helpful here. And then when solar is no longer available, you know, how much duration are they going to get in a whole home backup situation? to make sure that the system is going to meet their needs. Sometimes if people are really concerned about being able to you know, last through an extended outage, of course they need to add more storage. So Aurora makes it easy to do that. You can just increase the capacity of the system this way. And uh, that tends to give a very easy indicator for somebody you know, about whether that storage system that they're thinking about purchasing is going to be sufficient to meet their needs continue to power their home in an extended outage. People really love to see that 0% daily grid use, although, of course, that isn't always possible, as we know. I also find it's very helpful to be able to just go ahead and click hide battery here, and that really helps people to understand how they are most likely going to be using their system in a more traditional net metering environment. I hope that this was helpful. Um, again, this is Dar Hoopsh coming from Cape Fear Solar Systems, and I wish you a sunny day.